All right, so here's the base. Let's talk about the base. I did uh, five 10 inch cuts for the inside and 10 20 inch cuts for the outside. I used this iridescent white that I had left over and this like window pane pink. All of my ribbons are the Sam's Club from last year. I have um, a at home silver and we've made almost all of our embellishments. I did grab some, uh, these are ornaments from Walmart. I'm not sure when they're from, but I'm gonna put them in. I've already kind of placed where I want my, my things. So I'm just gonna go ahead and secure in my ornaments with twist ties and some glue just because I want some extra security. So I am trying to show you that you don't have to spend a ton of money to make a wreath. I just want to plug in my other uh, glue gun. Hang on, I think I just pulled my my table. Let me go, nope. I'm gonna do, oopsies. All right, and then we made the the drum. So until we get some more room on the table. So we got, this one is gonna go, so I have one here and I'm gonna do one diagonal. I did squish it into an oval. So I do want to keep this, uh, thick thing for the top of the ornament. You can glue them down as well. Uh, so that's fine. So I'm going to just kind of slide this just like I did the other one right through my greenery. And bring it up and over. And then I will glue it down. And then I'll definitely glue the, the back side when I get around that way. So here's what I pulled. I pulled some stars from the at-home store. I have a couple of things upstairs drying. So for the most part, we're going to just start filling it. And then we will obviously be back. I made some swirls and a couple other things. I'm not worried about the center because she is gonna go in there and she is gorgeous. So let's put her in and there she is. Look at how pretty she is. So I'm doing uh, the black version. Um, this is my honey shade and then I'm gonna do the other shade in a swag. So she's got clay cleaners. So we're gonna put her Kind of in the middle-ish. So she's going to go right here. And I'm going to not flip over my wreaths. I'm taking one and one. And I'm coming around and inside. Because we're going to be able to cover up. And I'm just twisting it around. And you'll be able to put her in. So I'm gonna flip her around. So she's more to the right of my wreath. So I'm gonna take this one coming up and through around that bundle and pull in her tight just in between the bundle so you still get the, the ribbons. And I'm just tying her. Alrighty, so she's just, she's right there. I love her. She's gorgeous. I want her to be a little bit tighter, so let's. I don't want her to flop around and go in and. <laughs> Alright, so there she is. All set up. I had to go and put another thing on my part. So 
we're going to do the drum next. And I think I'm going to put her drum literally like this so you can have it at an angle. I was um, smart this time and put some wire in it. When you make yours, you can absolutely. I'm going to glue it in as well. So I'm going to make sure that I wire it really well, making sure not to slam my piece on the table. Oh no, I did just pull on that, so that's why that popped off because I hadn't been able to get the thing. And then I'm going to secure that to all this greenery right here. Put some greenery and glue that into that spot as well some extra. So there we go. So her thing is there. I'm going to do some bow right here and then we'll go from there. So there's the drum we made. I have a whole bunch of picks that we're going to start putting in and some stuff, but we're going to do her bow right here. Um, we could kind of like bring it down this way. So I might do decent one so let's get started with that so here's what she looks like so far I think she's perfect so these are what I have on hand I do have blue and all of that but I really wanted to keep her pink focused um, so yeah this is what we're doing two and a half inch you got them you got them so I'm gonna go in with this one first I use the Bodabra. I love it. I'm going to do, do a 10 inch heel. Alicia and I were just talking about this. This is a 6 inch, so let's do 8. So, anyway, we were just talking about this last night. I said, So, what do you think about this? Like, you know, so what do we say? It was a 10 inch loop, 10 inch tail. Then I'll add this back in if I want to. So, with these, which is cool, you could really pull in any color. Like, you could do blue. I think, like, that ice blue would be really pretty. Um, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. This burlap is nice because it doesn't really matter what it what side it's on. It's gonna look good. Anyway, so Alicia's been doing reads a lot longer than me. So I just love picking her brain. I'm gonna still keep in with my 10 inch tail. Oh, I don't know why I'm trying to hold this in my hand because I know eventually I'm not going to be able to do that because my poor little hand is going to cramp up. <laughs> so you're just going to do it. I'm keeping them all around the same length um, just because that's how I like it. Just the two loop bows, just basic. And I want this one to go kind of on the sides. So let me figure it out. Yeah. And then this one. And then these will be smaller loops. So a nine inch tail. The loop is five and a half. Okay. 
and then this one sucks that it's not double sided so it's kind of on the chintzier side so we'll just do our best it's the only one I had that's this color I don't know why yeah it's like really crappy but Oh, it's really shedding too, but it's okay. I only bought that one. I can order another one. So I got this. I only use one pipe cleaner. You guys do whatever you want. I'm going to do one. I don't make my wreaths super fluffy, like one pipe cleaner is sufficient. Twist it a couple times, then we're going to puff out all these ribbons. I don't know. We're going to figure this out. So it's going to go like that. Yeah. It's fine. And we can trim it as needed. So I'm going to take my bow and I'm going to put it right here. Fingers up and in and over. It's perfect size for my... And then this is where you would... Where I'm going to... And I keep all of my ribbons, you know. And they're ready. So there's my bow. So this is the side profile. And I have only one of these. So I'm going to... Who's going to stick it? Let's see. I can stick it right here. Like under her. Didn't want her to have a um, like a neck thing, so maybe we'll put some down there. But this is cute. So I could put the thing back on it, and we could put this in the bow, which is really cute. Um, yeah, we could do that. Okay, let's put this one right here. Uh, let's do that. I like that. Because the swirl, I think, is going to go right here. So in the meantime, while we're still waiting for all of our things to dry, we are going to stuff it now with all of our stuff. If you... I have some extra... Um, 
these are from the Dollar Tree, so you could stick these in here. I like to stuff my bow with my picks. So let's grab our picks and I will show them to you. All right, so I'm just going to be using my glue guns for the next part. Um, I have a couple stars. I have a bunch of sprays. I will have to go find candy canes because I do think I need candy canes. However, we'll see. Um, I don't think so. So I have lots of things. I have some spring greenery, which I think will look perfect. Uh, spring greenery. Um, I have these. I don't think they match at this point. So I'm going to go with these white pearls, these leaves, which are available now from Hobby Lobby. Hobby Lobby. And I'm going to use these picks, which were from spring. Um, so I have two of these, which were $3.99. These are $1.99. I don't know if they went down $1.49 or $1.25. And this was on sale for a dollar or something. All the spring stuff. So we're going to, I put it on my little swivel thing. I'm going to show you my trick in just one second. Um, I cut all of my pieces. I just take them and I cut them in half. So I will show you that really quickly. Um, and then the beads, I literally just pull them apart. There's a lot of people that do these. This is just what I do. I just pull them. Um, and then I get about five or six. The spring greenery, it's probably going to be the same thing. I think it just comes, nope, this I'll have to cut, which will be nice. So I'll just take my pliers. These are from Amazon. They're spring loaded, so they're nice for your hands. Uh, so I'm just going to cut all that. I'm going to use the whole bush. And then with these, I believe you could just pull them apart. Um, save the piece if you want. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't. And you get two two picks. I mean, you could probably cut it down, but I'm going to do two picks out of each one. We'll see if I use both bundles. So let's talk about these. These are from the Dollar Tree. They are my favorite. So I take it and I cut it at the bottom and there's a little indent halfway through. I snip it there and then I get two so I get ten pieces so I'm gonna go ahead and do all of my things and then I'm gonna show you real quick I have it on a spinner now um, and it's just one of those trivet trays this is from Hobby Lobby um, I believe Palan from Mood Makers just did a <laughs> she did a wreath with one or a swag or something but this is this is what I use it for. Um, so, yeah. We're going to do that. All right. I'll be right back. All right. So I've got most of my stuff. I kind of got distracted. But I have most of my stuff all snipped and ready to go. I did put some in just for, like, checking placements. I want to cut up some of this purple. Um These are really great flyers. I can't recommend them enough. Um, I will put them. I'll put a link. I don't have an affiliate link. <laughs> Nobody buys like my stuff like that. So anyway, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to separate all of this. And then we will do this in rapid succession. So I'm just going to take stuff. I've kind of split them up. I want a single one for, so kind of placed a little bit. Um, so you can see it just kind of stuffs in the area. This I was really worried about. Um, so I, I'm not sure if, I mean, it will stay, but I'm going to put some of these things in my bow just to kind of add a little, what do you call that? I like to add a little dimension to my bow. I have some things. I have a whole bag of ornaments. I don't know if I'm going to use this or not. I have, I just leave that there. And then I'm going to put some longer. So I leave the longer ones like this for behind my bows and stuff. So I'm going to put those to the side. They'll be the ones we get to last. Um, and then I think one or two of these I left long. If not, I have a whole bunch of other ones. So I'm going to just keep these off to the side. Um, what I've done is kind of go... Uh, 
like every other. So I've kind of bundled them here and then I'll do another like set of these in the back there. So we'll just glue those in. And then I'm just gonna speed this up and not talk through it. So we're just, you'll just have to watch and go from there. So I'm just gonna keep stuffing. Um, there will be like no kind of rhyme or reason. Uh, just where I think it'll go. So I'll do like white, pink, purple, white, pink, purple, like all the way around. Um, so there will be a purpose for that, but just so you know, um, I'm going to try and keep higher things. I'm trying to keep this real affordable, so not a lot of little things. Um, this is probably going to be it. I had made a, uh, a swirl, but I really think I'm just going to keep it like this with the one snowflake up top and just keep it. Um, I will put some stars just like randomly, like I'll put some stars up here, like right here, I'll put another star and you'll see it in the back. Um, so yeah, let's get, I will use all of both of these, I believe. I have to go get more, I actually have a whole bunch, but I'll go get more as the, <laughs> Um, I wish it was slick again, but they don't, so it's kind of like, when I get it in, I'll just, you know, focus this one. So I'll get this off, put it back on, up there, and I'll layer it right there. So I got my other thing here, and I'll put it up over my, do you want to have it right here? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. No. So this hand, you can, my first side, I think it'll be just fine. Really? Um, I'll put it there. This right there, and I'll put it in right here. Get it, so, and then. I don't think I'm going to put anything really up here. I might put it on the other side. Yeah. there with this a little two for one get a little peek out there and I think that's good. Yep, everything else is pretty secure in there. Um, yep, so there she is. And I still have like a bunch of pieces left over. So that's pretty great. I might, let's see if I can, yeah. I can stick some more stars in here. No more. <laughs> oh gosh. Let's do this one right here. If I had the snowflakes, I would most definitely do the snowflakes, but. There's a star there instead of an ornament. I think that's three. Yep. 
Yep, yep, yep. There she is. So there she is, you guys. I know she's like side heavy. That seems to be like the way to go. My the other nutcracker girl is not gonna be side heavy. She's gonna be on a swag. So I'm very excited to see how that one comes out. So thanks for watching. I do not know what happened to my other pearls. <laughs> I know I didn't use them all. If I didn't, I think I might throw some more in, but other than that. Voila. There she is. Beautiful. Thanks for watching.